<clears throat> right, welcome back to another video, guys. Pat Bros Trading Cards. Um, right, if you look to my Instagram, which is at pack.bros underscore TC, feel free to follow it. Go like my photos. Basically, I've run a little poll on what videos I should do for my upcoming couple of videos. And there was a choice between opening up a draft picks box and a little collection of my favourite cards. Um, we're going to do both of them, but for now, this video is opening up a draft picks box. I've got three boxes here, so on the far right, we got Jarmorant Zion, rookie year basically, which is 2019. We got 2017, which is Lonzo, so I pretty much only really want a Lonzo auto from here. Um, because all of these, they contain at least one autograph. Some cool other cards in here as well, but they are all Panini contenders, as they are probably the top product for draft picks. And then on the far left, we got obviously this year just gone, which is Ant Man, Lamello, so some big hitters. And now I need to make a choice on what one I want to open. Uh, the other two boxes will be put into the um, the Pat Bros Training Cards um, repack box, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm only going to open one of these and then the other two I'm just going to whack the packs throughout all them boxes. So if you want a chance at getting the autograph in the other two, well best you buy a box then. But for now, oh, it's too tempting not to open the one on the far left because if you pulled Ant-Man or a Lamello Auto then that's insane. Uh, middle pack, there's not really too many good rookies in there. It's like, it's base, it's very hit or miss. We definitely don't want Markel Fultz. <laughs> no offence or anything. It's just that when he was at the Sixers. Um, and then you got on the right, a jar or a Zion. I mean, that's very nice as well. Right. We're going to have to go through the Melo M. Uh, Adwood, ugh. you know what I mean. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Tyrese Maxey would be in here. Kentucky number one. So... I don't see why he wouldn't. So I've pulled a maxi or that'd be insane. Um, to be fair, I haven't really added anything to the background either. We got a nice, actually, just got this in the post recently. Got a nice Obi Topping Cracked Spectra, number 35. That's really nice. So, yeah, I mean, that's out there. But apart from that, nothing really too special in the back. Um, the next video, that will contain some special cards because that's what I'm going to be doing my collection. So... Yeah, let's get this open. Let's not run this video too long. I've got stuff to do today. I've got to get a haircut, other things. So, yeah, and I'm definitely going to need a knife because I'm terrible at opening things. There we are. I've actually done it. Right, everyone knows what we're looking for in here. I'm not a big fan of contenders, personally. I don't like the base products. I don't mind optic contenders because it's a bit more higher end. But apart from that, contenders just really isn't my thing. Might be a lot of people that like them. I think the ticket cards, they just look a bit meh. Look a bit naff. Not really much design to them. Pretty standard cards. Empty box. So, uh, how many packs have we got in here? Seven, I think. Maybe six cards per pack? Yeah, six cards. We've got a little bit of bendage going on here. That looks pretty thick, that one. So, I'm going to leave that to the end. That might be the autograph one. All right. Let's get open. Let's see what what we can get I think I've got a pretty good deal on this box actually I think I've got it in a bundle with two other boxes so I think it was another contenders box and a hoops blaster so I think I've got a decent deal on this so it's like we can pull a really nice autograph right. D'Angelo Russell De'Aaron Fox Oh yeah, I forget you get mascots in here as well, don't you? No clue who that is. Miami, Sebastian, the Ibis. Oh yeah. Wait, to be fair, I think that might actually be a red parallel, this mascot one. Albi the Tiger. I don't think it'll be numbered, will it? Uh, I don't care anyway, to be honest, but still. <laughs> Demar de Rosan. So yeah, obviously it's not just this year's prospects, it's like... Previous years, we've got John Wall, so there are going to be some good players in here, no matter what. I don't think there's going to be any LeBron James or anything like that, though. Alright. 
House called Siakam, Siakam, Spicy P, James Harden. Have we even pulled anyone from this year yet? Montrez Harrell, KD Red. That's pretty nice. Not numbered, but that is really nice. The red really goes well with that. Don't know if you can see that. Also, the quality should be a bit better now. I just picked up uh, the new iPhone. Well, a new iPhone. An 11 Pro Max. So, until we get the lighting sorted here, this quality should be a lot better than the previous quality. That's pretty nice. I'm going to put that there. It's a nice little hit. Victor Holler Depot. Ben Simmons, my main man. I hate all the Ben Simmons. Hate. I love Ben Simmons. He's a quality player. He just needs to sort his life out, really. But, uh, yeah. There we are. So far, I'm actually not sure. I'm going to go through. Montrez Harrell, James Harden, Pascal Siakam, John Wall, DeMar, a couple of mascots, De'Aaron Fox, D'Angelo Russell. We haven't got a single player from this year's draft. We're just getting vets and well, good vets, by all means, but not really too much value in this box anyway. Otherwise, I wouldn't be ripping it. <laughs> Drew Holiday. Jimmy Butler. What we got here? Halliburton. There we are. So, finally, we got someone from this year's draft. Very nice. Iowa State. Give that a cheeky sleeve, because that's actually a nice card. If you didn't know, these are actually in the main contenders products as well but obviously they're wearing their college jerseys in this one so who we got here Dante DiVincenzo flip it over again Kemba Walker and Jarmorant nice little cards <laughs> right so so far we got one person from this year's draw let's hope that auto really pays off I mean <laughs> It's going to be someone who didn't even make the league, probably, but it is what it is. Right. No, I thought that was the autograph then. I want to leave the auto to last, because I mean, guarantee an autograph. You want to leave it for last, really. Kevin Love. RJ Barrett. Kyra Lewis Jr. It's another one from this year. Get that sleeved. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's got a bit of potential as well. I know a lot of people that uh, collect his cards and actually really like him. So maybe he's got some potential. He's playing on the Pelicans at the moment. So Pelicans aren't doing great, especially not without Zion. But more mascots. De'Aaron Fox again. AD. Right. Moving on to the next pack. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, it's like if you're looking for a product to rip and you're looking for a bit of value, it's not draft draft stuff. Unless you're looking to pull like a top player or some of these old cards. So we've got two different versions of AD right there. Um, I don't know why they'd include two different versions. But yeah, I mean, same seat number and everything, but okay. Still a top player though, Carmelo Anthony. Let's check that the auto's not in here. Marvin Williams. Oh, the auto's in there. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. You definitely saw it, but it didn't look great. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. Here's what it is. It is what it is. Um, Devin Booker. Kevin Durant. Nico Mannion. He's from this year, I'm not going to sleeve that. Pretty sure he's playing cross country now, or should I say across the world, somewhere else. Got pulled out for like medical issues, I believe. JD Reddick Red, Jimmy Buckets, and then Spicy P again. So it looks like we'll open this. Yeah. Can really turn out to be the best box. This has got some weird feel to it, this pack though. So. It's guaranteed one auto, so there could be two. There could be two in here. There's not an autograph in there. Buddy Hield, Kemba Walker, Devontae Graham, Aaron Neesmith. That's pretty nice. Paul George, Derek Rose, right? Oh, to be fair, I've just seen the autograph. I can't get it up now. But Kenyon Martin Jr. of Red. It's pretty nice. Some of the dunks he's been having is insane. I don't think it's numbered. 
It's not numbered, but Kenya Martin Jr. is not too bad. It's not the worst player we could have got. So, yeah, overall, I don't think I'll be ripping many draft picks products again. There's just, yeah, very hit and miss. Like, unless you pull one of the top three people that got selected in the draft, unless you get a nice auto of them, then there's not really much value. It's not too fun, to be honest. It was cool seeing all of these older players in their college uniforms, but apart from that, apart from that, that's what our autograph is. Kenya Martin Jr., non-numbered. Um, what was the last couple of cards? Another James Harden, another D-Lo. So, yeah, look at James Harden. For the beard. Who does he look like? He looks a bit like... I can't even think of his name right now. But, yeah, that looks like it's it. Um, have I got anything to say or go over? Uh, no, not really. Um, draft picks, boxes... Yeah, they're alright, they're a fun little rip if you're trying to open something. Uh, not too expensive either. Uh, apart from that, that's me done, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe, please. I'm trying to get that subscriber count up. Make sure you like the video if you really want to. And just wait for my next video because I'll be going over maybe 5 to 10 of my favourite cards in my collection. Not value cards, but mainly my favourite cards. I'll try not to include these because obviously you've seen all of these by now. But... I can imagine that the Trey Young and the Maxi will be in there. But I'll try to mix it up a bit. But anyway, here's the autograph that we got from the box. Pretty nice, actually. So, yeah, that's me done.